All right, it is a brand new day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Monday, October the 4th, 2021. Currently walking back from Marky Man and Contra Band rehearsals. We got a new, a new lop tune that we're going to be doing at the state competition exhibition in a couple weeks called Penske, named after the truck. Because there's a, there's a story behind the Eastern Illinois game that I never told, and that after the game, we had to load all of our crap up on the truck, but the truck got stuck in the gravel lot outside of the facility. So we had to take, you know, get some sort of random plank of wood that the team had in the indoor, put it under the, the truck, and it freaking snapped in half, but it was spinning like crazy and eventually it got loose. It was, it was a trial, getting that truck unstuck right, you know, after the game, but it was it was a night and I think the, the, the football team also embraced that piece of wood so like we took half of it and it's hanging up in the drum cage the other half of it we left behind I think the team uses it as a high prop or something because like think of the East Carolina game like they posted like coach set has some wood and it looked like the other half so that that was a good story that was that's a funny story to look back on and see where he wrote the piece named it Penske after that, and you'll probably be hearing it right now. It's a, it's a cool piece. You know, it's, it's fast, it's 172, and then it randomly goes to symbol play dotted quarter, like scissors, and then randomly, and then dotted quarter becomes a new tempo, and you get like a tenor solo, a bass solo, a snare solo, and a cymbal solo. <laughs> and then that cymbal solo reestablishes the original 172 tempo, it's really neat, and you probably just heard it finish. So. It's a neat piece, but now that after after that ramble, I want to talk some Gamecock football because the Vandy game got announced for a kickoff today, 4 p.m. Nice. Did not think it'd be night, although it was my freshman year. I was just hoping to God it wasn't noon, and it's not noon. That's going to be great, especially since that's homecoming, alumni band, centennial celebration, so that's going to be a day. And then Ortre Smith entered the transfer portal today. Unfortunate to him, but he had never lived up to his hype. He said his freshman year get hampered by the injury bug and getting buried in depth chart. So, you know, best of luck to him and wherever else he goes. All right, it's a brand new day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday, October the 5th, 2021. Just getting crap done tonight, trying to get a ton of videos released before fall break, getting work done before fall break. Got a ton of music the past few days. I mentioned Penske yesterday. We got the, we got the fourth show music, test show music today. This is for the Centennial Show. We got 2001 Celebration from Cool and the Gang. We got Louie Louie. We got We Are Family. We have to give me a good show. Give me a good show next weekend with, you know, like 200 plus alumni band members. Man, I want to talk a little bit about Smash Bros. tonight. Get, you know, jumping on the bandwagon of Thank You Sakurai and get all the time he put into this damn game. Like, 89 fighters, uh, you know, whatever other statistic there are. Because the final direct, not direct, but Sakurai presents with today with Sora, which I know a lot of people have been clamoring about wanting Sora in the game. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts, but I know a lot of people wanted Sora, so. I mean, again, I got my choice with, you know, more Xenoblade with Pyra and Mesra and the, I guess it was the ace, the ninth. The ninth fighters, Pat. The ninth DLC characters. So DLC characters. So yeah, I'm just ha you know happy for them, but you know Sakurai put his heart and soul into the game. So just round of applause. Thank you, Sakurai, for this, and you know go out with a bang if this is his last Smash Brothers game. Which, I mean, to be fair, I think he'd been saying like he, I think he said melee was gonna be the last one. So. You never know, but I feel like, you know, this is got to be the last one, though, because of how much content there is. But thank you, Sakurai. Thank you for everything, and I salute you with my left hand because my right hand is holding the phone. All right, it is later now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday, October the 6th, 2021. As you can tell, I'm back home with the doggos. Wait, wait, wait. Here you go, Lucy. Hey, I'm back home. Feels great to be back with the dogs and get back home. Going to the high school this weekend, gonna be spending all weekend there. Tomorrow we got a rehearsal, 3.30 to 6. 
Friday, we got a game at Union, at Union County. Call time is 5.30, so I'll be there. I'll be I'll be bringing a set of symbols. Be playing with some playing along with them. Some USC songs will be involved, so that'll be fun. And then Saturday we got the competition at Boiling Springs. We also got the Carolina Tennessee game. I'll be keeping a close eye on. That kicks off at 12 o'clock. We're not leaving for Boiling Springs until 2:45, and and we perform at 5:15. So I'm sure I might be watching it to some extent around the one one o'clock ish time whenever rehearsal done so yeah we'll see tennessee decided to go with all black though for a noon game so i think that means game clock plus 10 and a half or whatever this the spread is now is a lock speaking of a lock how about the stefan gilmore signing with going going to the panther now coming back home after being released from the patriots today i'm not a big nfl guy but it's nice to see you know former game clock coming home to you know the Carolina area with the Panthers. All right, it is a brand new day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thursday, October the 7th, 2021. Just got out of the JCPenney optometrist because my glasses are starting to break and I haven't been to the optometrist in three years and I need new glasses desperately. And my eyes also got dilated, so I need <laughs> all, the, all the light to go away so I can see, which is a funny juxtaposition, but but now that I got the optometrist appointment taken care of, we got rehearsal here in a few hours. Hopefully the rain stays away because I legit picked the worst weekend to do all, to, you know, come home and spend the whole weekend with Wardrobe with. A rainy Thursday rehearsal, a rainy Friday away, and you know, a rainy Friday away game, and at least the competition doesn't look like it's gonna be raining, but let's get it. All right, let's do that same thing again. We're gonna move six double time, hold 12, Count off in the new tempo, then move 12, move 12, move 12. And set. All right, it is a brand new day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday, October the 8th, 2021. Currently halftime with the Woodruff Union County game, and it is all knotted up at 35. Lots of fireworks tonight. We did not go to the game because of raining today that, ironically enough, hasn't rained. <laughs> Bill Shrepp sent out the remind at like 11 saying, we're not going to the game. See you guys tomorrow morning for the competition. And then pretty much like since then it hasn't rained. So that's fun. We had a lot of firework tonight. Union scored. We scored. Union scored. We scored. Union scored. We scored. Then 21 to 21. We onside kick it, which really got the call that I loved. And then, you know, 28-21 Woodruff. We, our defense... Forces a punt, which is great. We got up two touchdowns, 35 to 21. And then Union scores, and then they get the stop, force up the punt, and then a 70 yard punt return for a touchdown for Union to tie the game up. So, offense is definitely working. We're definitely got things rolling offensively. And the you know, special team to do, you know, had that nice onside kick. Defense needs to get some stops in the second half, hopefully. This is looking like the Alabama Ole Miss game from 2020. Looking like that, but... For the 31st game in a row, we're getting the ball, you know, after halftime. That is a real streak that is still active. That is crazy. But we get the ball back after half, so hopefully, you know, we can get back on the lead. Hopefully, force some punts or... <laughs> Recover some more onside kicks because clearly that's needed, but 
these games are, you know, like, like, they can't stop us, like, you know, we can't be stopped, but we can't do no stopping. So, they're just fun games full of fireworks. So, here we go, get your popcorn ready. Don't mind me, I'm just here having a snack as Woodruff beat Union County by a score of 63 to 49. There was lots of fireworks, there was lots of popcorn, and you know, it just reminded me of last year's Alabama Ole Miss game, you know. Same energy as that, 63 to 48. You know, no one could, you know, no one could be stopped, no one could do no stopping, except, you know, toward the end, Woodruff learned how to play defense, just like Alabama did last season, and beat Ole Miss, and that's what we did. We learned how to play defense. In the second half, we got, you know, we got a fourth and ten situation for them. We got a stop. It was a fourth and short. They went for it, and they got stopped. So, you know, that's great. So, yeah, of course, we'll just got to, you know, limit. Limit being, you know, letting defenses score, you know, 49 points on us. We can't be allowing them to score seven touchdowns in a game. Because not every week we're going to be able to score, like, nine touchdowns a game. But these games are always very entertaining. That was the deal with Ole Miss last year. Like, they weren't a great team last year. They are more of a great team this year because they figured out defense. But, you know, they didn't have no defense, so they weren't that great. But they were fun to watch. I wish I could have been in that, in that game, but nope. I was here editing the Troy video, which should hopefully be out before tomorrow. But yeah, tomorrow, we got the Boiling Spring competition. I don't think we're going to be doing all the drill we learned yesterday. That would seem dumb because having put it with music yet, but you know, so we're gonna we're gonna be going up through some point in the closer, and then you know, it's gonna be exciting to see them putting, you know, the have the whole show on the field for up in two weeks. Which how is that in two weeks? But regardless, let's get it. Boiling print competition tomorrow. Let's go. All right, it's a brand new day. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Saturday, October the ninth, twenty twenty one. Cops going up to Rocky Top to take on Tennessee at noon today. Should be a good game. Hopefully, you know, Shane Beamer pulls out of Tennessee earlier t later on today with a win. But more importantly for me, we've got a show today at Boiling Springs. We'll just going up there with Shattered Darkness. You know, trying to replicate the success in the first two competitions and bring home another first place and, you know, some more best percussion, best, tro best music, best guard, trophies. I don't know, maybe, maybe a, a division award as well. So, yeah, let's get it. Where you going, Keegan? Dang!
Nice kill, Isaac. Remember, make sure you, you know, stay locked in because they got a little messy that time. Yeah, watch. Hey, Marimbus. 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 He's hyped. Okay. Marimbus. Um, there's a couple of runs there that you really need to watch because your hand motion is good, but your note plays. Yeah. It's usually during the runs. Yeah, just, just watch those runs and try to get them confident. That, that's and play confident. Said, though, you said, if you can't get it, play confident. Yeah. You got any words? Let's go give them a show. Good words. All right, let's go. Percussion. Let's hit it. Let's go. Let's go, team. Set the mood for tonight, folks.
The goat. <laughs> the goat. Hey Jackson, the ACC sucks. I'm gonna say one thing for that. True, true, true. Even Clemson. The Festival of Bands is proudly presented by the same competition. Megan Garner, Olivia Rail, Tyson Bell, Morgan Durham, and the James F. Burns High School Martin Band.
Congrats, guys. Congrats. Second place in class five is awarded to Woodruff High School. That's right. That's right. I knew, I knew we saw the HBO. All right, it is now Sunday, October the 10th, 2021. Yesterday was a day. Let's, I want to talk about the good things before the bad things. That, you know, I saw some good bands. If you watched the competition video I put out, you know, saw some good bands. York did really good. And so did Burns. And then T.L. Hanna also did really good. So it was just nice going to a competition again and seeing big bands. Especially since I feel like that might have been my first time actually seeing Burns, like, compete in anything. The only time I feel like I've seen Burns without the Burns competition. So, you know, they're not competing. They're just, ex you know, for exhibition because they're hosting. Which gets me really excited to go to, you know, 5A prelims and finals in 2022. Since, you know, as it stands, that's the game at Vanderbilt. And no way I'm going to Vanderbilt over 5A State. And, you know, it was great seeing, you know... BTG and Sims again, because, you know, Riverside and York were there competing, so, you know, naturally Sims and Grant were there, and it was, you know, great seeing them, and, you know, and BTG, you know, came up and saw, like, the last few bands with, with us, you know, as you heard, we, we, we sent, you know, moneygrams, like, someone in the band sent, you know, Riverside a moneygram, you know, for BTG, you know, basically my idea to do that for Sims as well. He gave money to Jackson, told him, go go do, go do write Sim something from Wardrobe Percussion. And Chris would always say, like, hey, Dad, can I get some lunch money? So that's what we did. The funny thing is Chris wasn't even there. And that's a good segue into, you know, the results from yesterday. We got second place in our class, losing to, Be to Beltonhonia Pass. And, you know, we had 75.25 points. They had 80.2. So we lost our class by five points. And we, and we were two points away from third place in our class with Chesney. Broom, they're just a trickle program. I don't know. They had, like, watch for, like, one year in 2016, so I don't know what they're doing. And then we lost Beth Percussion to Chesney by six. Lost Beth Guard to Chesney by one. We lost Music to Belt and Honey Pass by a lot. And we lost Visual by 12. And the thing is, Music's supposed to be our strengths. It was not yesterday. Part two wasn't great. And, you know, part three was eh. It, and, you know, yesterday in practice, the, the plan was to play, like, we set, like, the last few charts of the show come, like, on Thursday. We weren't going to run that, though, it was yesterday, because they just learned it. We were going to, you know, run a bit, of, you know, but play the whole show for the first time, and they didn't have it memorized, which is just completely, you know, unacceptable at this point. It's October. They've had this music since June. Some of them have had it since last June, or last May, whenever they got the music for 2020, before the show got canceled with, you know, competition getting canceled. It's unacceptable. You know, Will, you know, had a big old rant during rehearsal, which, you know, is 100% acceptable. You know, music should be memorized at this point. And, you know, two weeks to get it done. We got... 10th out of 14 bands in the gold division, and that was with Lawrence not even competing because from what I heard, a lot of the percussion section got quarantined. I heard most of, I heard all of them, but there were clearly some out, out there performing. So yeah, 10th out of 14 in gold, 14th out of 31 overall, and four bands in silver division beat us. So we wouldn't have, if, so we wouldn't have even won silver division, which is, you know, a shame. But, you know, if, if we're actually competing in gold, you know, we, should be able to beat Silver. They just, you know. Butler, the winner of Silver, from what I can tell, beat us by, like, seven. I mean, I wasn't going in there, like, expecting us to beat, you know, Gold and beat Burns. But Burns, like, 20-pointed us. Like, is Burns 20 points better than us? I mean, maybe, but... I don't know. But, yeah, music has to be better. Like, I get it, like, you know... Like, Karina is out, from what I know, because of COVID. Which, you know, very unfortunate that we're losing probably our best player. After, you know, already lost Shane because of drum major. But, you know, we can't be relying on one trumpet to carry everybody. When we have seven trumpets, like, 
I mean, I get that the quartet suffers a little bit in part two because it's Karina who does it. You have to have someone play a new solo, but everything else. But, you know, I have, I have complete faith in Gilstrap and Will to, you know, rally rally the troops together, have a solid two weeks of rehearsal. From what I can, te I can tell, they're really leaning towards having a four-hour rehearsal on Saturday from 9 to 1. Just, you know, to really solidify this, but they need to. They need to have a nice long rehearsal to solidify this. You know, while I'm at the Vanderbilt game. But yeah, it's like Nick Saban. Sometimes it takes a loss for everything, you know, preached and, you know, ready to tell about to sink in. Yeah, the minimum expectation should easily be to win first place, at, you know, and the captains and compete for the division. And we did not do that. But, you know, like I said, I have faith in, you know, Gil Shopping Will to be able to solidify things. Yeah, speaking of Nick Saban and a loss, that happened yesterday in college football with A&M beating Alabama. That was, a, that was a, a wacky game, seeing the end of that after the competition and watching the game-winning field goal happen in the band room. BYU lost to Boise State. Ole Miss beat Arkansas by one point. Oklahoma beat Texas after Spencer Rattler got benched. A lot of people on Twitter are speculating him to USC. You know, I don't think he entered the transfer portal at all, but be interesting. Reunite with Beamer, who, you know, spent the past, what, three years at Oklahoma, I think? 18 for 20. Georgia beat Auburn. Kentucky beat LSU. Coach Orgeron's probably going to get, you know, fired, if not already. Florida State beat UNC, which it was funny hearing that as, you know, a money gram right before Burns. But, all right, time to talk about... The Carolina game, 45 to 20. It was, you know, a blink of an eye. It was 28 to, to nothing. Because it was, you know, it was 14 nothing. We're driving. We're at first and goal at the one. We try a trick play with Jordan Birch at court, you know, throwing a pass. And it gets intercepted. Like, I love the aggressiveness and willingness to do these kind of plays. But if it's one and goal, first and goal at the one, run the damn football. You have four great running backs, run the football. But also, you know, seeing Kai, Kai Kroger throw, throw the touchdown pass and the fake punt, that was nice. He threw a nice pass like that last year against Kentucky. And if he played quarterback in high school, we should do that more. But yeah, the team battled back, though. They didn't give up. They made adjustments and tried, and, you know, we're coming back a little bit. But yeah, definitely, you know, felt closer in the second half than the scoreboard would indicate, but... Progress is being made. Running backs had a, the best game since EIU, so the best game of the season. Tight ends are getting involved. Juju and Kevin are getting better. Luke is, you know, feeling more confident with his feet. And yeah, you gotta give Beamer time. You gotta give Beamer time. If we gave Muschamp five years and he failed at Florida, we should give Beamer a 10. But yep, yeah, all I got for this week.